Okay, good day. Uh, this is a revolution FX strategy speaking. Um, you can see uh, we started this week on uh, Monday on the 12th with the GBP AUD. As you can see, this was a signal given, and this is how uh, we send the signal. We have got a stop loss there and sale at that particular angle so that people will not maybe after 31 hour or even four hours just see a signal and then enter in the process whereas we have either take and take profit or the trade has already hit a stop loss so in this way you will know exactly when to enter into the market okay because the charts are the same everywhere even though we might have uh, time differences but the charts are the same okay we did usd jpy euro jpy okay those are also the setups given and then we did a gbp and ZD. And then, we, as you can see, Euro JPY and USD JPY, they hit a stop loss. Okay, so this is still the GBP and ZD setup, as you can see there. Okay, that's an update. GBP AUD and GBP and ZD are now in profit. Okay, so as you can see, that from that particular angle, where a uh, particular angle that I said they must uh, sell on. The market started dropping exactly at that candle. Okay, so as you can see on this chart now, the stop loss has been moved into a, a stop profit. Okay, so now securing our capital. Even if the market continues to fall, we know that our capital is safe. Even if it retraces and comes back again to entry, our capital is safe. And then we do that usually when the market reaches TP1 zone. As you can see on this one, it is actually at the TP1 level. So when the market reaches the TP1, uh, sometimes it might retrace. So it is better to protect your capital so that if it retraces, sometimes it can retrace, that retracement can actually become a reversal. So you know that you are safe. You can either take your profit or protect your capital. Okay. So... That's a GBP NCT. And then uh, this is our GBP AUD. As you can see, also from that particular candle, the market started dropping. Our stop loss has been moved into a positive uh, stop profit, as you can see. Okay, because we have reached the TP1 zone. Okay, so TP1 hit, TP1 hit on both pairs. So these were the results of the students. Results. Okay, and this one, I told them to take profit on all remaining positions. But the markets continued falling, okay, as you can see there. But I know sometimes you can say take all positions, as others will be holding because uh, we trade differently. I might teach you the strategy, I might teach you the principles, but you have to incorporate your character into trading. Your character now, it consists of your emotions of how you deal with pressure, okay? Because as individuals, uh, we have got our own different levels of pressure or stress tolerance. Others, they can handle uh, pressure and stress very well. Others, they can panic very easily. So that is why uh, when I designed this strategy or when I designed these trades or when I analyze this market, I make sure that by doing an in-depth analysis of the market, I eliminate at least 50% of your anxiety and worries by making sure that where I say, uh, where exactly I say buy or sell, you do not wait for maybe 10, 15 or 30 minutes before you can see blues. Because that is where a lot of people get drained emotionally and psychologically whilst waiting for the market to turn from red to blue. So if you wait for four to five hours for the market to turn from red to blue, immediately when you see a blue, because you have been waiting for too long, your pressure, the pressure and the stress is actually exhausted you, uh, mentally or psychologically. Instead of waiting for the market to go deeper into profit, because you waited so long when the market was on red, immediately when you see maybe uh, you, have, you are making maybe $20 profit, you just close because in your mind you're thinking that uh, the market might go back again to red and then you have to wait for another four hours before you see blue. So that's why you see a lot of people, they can hold a trade that is losing for eight hours. 
maybe your account is at maybe you have got an account balance of 1500 and then from that 1500 you enter a trade that uh, goes 400 uh, into loss and then stays there changing 400 300 400 300 you are seeing that pattern for almost four to six hours and then immediately uh, after those four to six hours the market starts becoming blue and then you are in profit of fifty dollars you were holding a minus 400 for eight for four hours or six hours then in 10 minutes you are fifty dollars in blue your mind now is going to keep telling you that uh, you have to exit because now if it goes back again to red, you have to wait another six hours or it will blow your account or you will hit a stop loss. Hence now, this strategy is more crucial or this way of trading is more crucial in such a way that it eliminates 50% of your anxieties and your worries. You know that when you wait either four hours or six hours, you are only waiting for the market to go deeper into profit, not that you are waiting for the market to go into profit, okay? So you know that even uh, the stop loss, you do not wait for about uh, two hours in torture and anticipation and hoping that the market will turn blue. In 10 to 15 minutes or 30 minutes, your stop loss will be hit if the trade is a losing trade, you see? So you do not stay in that state of continuous anxiety continuous anticipation you see that it drains you emotionally and psychologically okay so you can see like all the charts that i'll be showing you if the market went against us it didn't take us long to hit stop loss or to 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 close our trace manual when we saw that they were uh, losing okay and then we continue as you can see we did a cold cold is what they sell here you can see the candle that I pointed out and said sell here, as you can see. That was in 1957-16. There's our stop loss there. That same candle, just uh, look at it. You'll see how this uh, market is going up. And it might not uh, be as important to others as uh, it is important to us or the way I see the importance of it in dealing with the anxiety of trading. Okay. So we go, okay, now we see gold was now approaching our stop loss. So this was at uh, 0532. Let's see how, when the signal was given. The signal uh, for gold was given at uh, 0429. So this was AM 0429 to 0532. So that's about an hour, okay? That's about an hour. And then we've got uh, USDJPY. We need another. We did another buy. USDJPY. Okay. So this is second day on the 13th. USDJPY. And then, as you can see, it says buy here. Exactly on that particular candle where we give uh, the signal to buy. That is where exactly you have to place your buy orders. Not before or not after. There is our stop loss there. We've got a TP1 and a TP2. Then let's see how the market uh, reacted. Okay. And then now, it's 0648, about two hours into the market, gold hit stop loss. And then USDJPY was in blues. So the USDJPY signal was given at uh, 0552. And by... 0.648, it was in profit, okay? Cat JPY, a buy, 0845, okay? And by nine, okay? From 0845 by nine, which is 15 minutes waiting time. So it was already in profit by nine, okay? Okay, and then update again on 0.944, it was also in profit. So this is the broker that I recommend, especially for um, analyzing the market. Their charts are not easily manipulated like most charts. Okay, so let's go. I'm, I'm going to make this one a little bit faster so that I don't waste a lot of your time. Now, here we go to the SDJPY. You see exactly where I said they must buy at that particular angle. And then the market from there 
it just started going all the way up as you can see okay stop loss has been moved to break even and then this was the damage that was done by gold see when the gold did our stop loss this is what happened okay and then the other pairs that i actually took they actually uh paid back all the damage that the gold took and then plus interest so you see here jpy tp1 hit usd jpy or positive stop loss was hit again okay so these are all wins no lose okay so this is how uh get jpy reacted as you can see from buy we have got uh, we've got our stop profit right at 104.940 then okay so i'm just uh trying to explain to you the importance of uh, psychology in trading most people they will read a book about psychology they will tell you you have to do this but psychology is something that you have to deal with practically your psychology is conditioned practically so if you are trading a strategy or an entry system that allows you to stay a long period of time waiting for the market to go into profit definitely you will have to you will suffer a lot of anxiety with your trading because you are expecting you know you are in a constant state of anticipation whether in, wondering whether the market will go into profit or uh, it will come and hit a, a stop loss so when you stay in that condition for about six hours i mean psychologically you'll be trained whether you, you 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 like it or not trust me you will be trained you won't be able to trade about four or five trades a day in that continuous state of uh, worrying okay so in this case when you know that after about 30 minutes or one hour you are in profit your stop loss has been moved to break even or to stop profit then you are waiting knowing that you are only waiting for the market to go deeper into profit then that uh, uh, relieves you from that constant state of anxiety and worry okay we did aud nzd sell here okay uh this was the yes aud nzd setup as you can see it says sell here so on that particular angle uh, candle that is where you sell stop loss as you can see uh it's about maybe 20 or 30 pips okay tp1 tp2 and tp3 there and then let's see how the market reacted after getting this signal you have entered your position right there i want you to see how these steps actually uh, re relaxes you uh, instead of making you to be more anxious you become very relaxed in your trading okay so you've got that candle there where i said sell here and the signal was given 1953 and then by nine past the eight about maybe plus 10 or 15 minutes i'm not sure you can calculate 1953 which is seven minutes to eight and then by nine past the eight we're in in profit okay as you can see we were already in profit so not too much waiting time not too much anxiety you are more relaxed in this kind of trading okay so it deals with your psychology a lot okay so i, I don't recommend people to just learn strategy you have to learn strategy learn principles and then let your emotions also be dealt with within the confines of your strategy and the principles okay and also your trading plan is very important okay as you can see from that candle where i said sell here the market uh, dropped from there and then our stop loss was moved to break even okay okay i know some might find this uh video uh, boring or too long but these are the things that if you really want to be a profitable trader these are the things that you need to know that psychology or trading psychology it has nothing to do with reading a book it is developed through trading so the more you refine your trading strategy the more you refine your trading plan the more your psychology becomes very relaxed 
you are not anxious in, anymore to open a trade or to be in, in a trading environment because you know that you don't waste a lot of time waiting for the market to go into profit okay, or to lose. You see, because it's the same emotions whether you are losing or you are winning. Okay, so here we did uh, a UK 100, that was a buy. As you can see, I said uh, buy here, or stop loss there, and then all those TPs. But this one now, because of the stop loss hunt, it came all the way to exactly where we placed our stop loss. It hit it and retained the back to the buy zone. Okay, so this is just the, the update trade hit stop loss and uk 100 re-entry a tp1 so the trade loss i made a risky re-entry without stop loss because the market returned to buy zone should it go against me i'll close trades manually okay and then after so this was a 918 by 920 where tp1 was hit already so you see there is not too much anxiety in this kind of trading okay then this is the signal the results from uh, one of the students and okay let me go first here so that we don't waste a lot of time and as you can see from that buy area the market just shot all the way up there we placed our positive uh, stop loss okay we did another AUD and ZT sale the same principle as you can see UK 100 is cruising all the way up and then with uh, AUD NZT, sell here, meaning from that particular angle, that is where exactly you must place your sell. If you see the signal and that candle is closed, you do not enter, okay? That's how we trade, okay? So you see now we're approaching a TP3, but it actually uh, turned back at that level. It didn't actually go and hit all uh, TP3, but... As you can see, our stop profit was in place. So when it came back, we had already taken a lot of layers. And then these ones, we knew, we knew that even if the market comes back, it will close with a profit. Okay. So you can see that it is the same mode of trading we are applying. Because once you, 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 you do a variety in trading, that is a recipe for disaster. You have to be consistent even in the application of how you do almost everything. Because one thing about the market is it is not dynamic. It is doing the same thing it has been doing forever. So you either adapt to the way the market moves or you come with your own uh, varieties. Then the market will show you its true colors. Okay. As you can see from that same candle, the market dropped all the way to TP1 okay so it was not a long time of waiting for the market to co go into profit so it we are actually dealing with psychology here trading psychology in a practical form okay and you can see the market kept dropping kept dropping and then we did a gpp a buy so this one was it actually uh, when we're about to go to sleep here, yeah, it was in the evening, about to see, uh, 2054, that was uh, 6 minutes to 9 p.m. So these were the levels. You see, it was based on an inverse head and shoulders pattern. There, we put our stop loss on that one, and then buy at that particular angle. As it, it is shown, as you can see, how uh, we, we actually presented it on the chart. So by 21.41, we were in profit. You see that there is not too much waiting time. So this consistent application, consistent way of trading, if you're trading like this, bit by bit, your mind starts now to enjoy trading. Your mind moves from that constant state of anxiety into a more relaxed way kind of trading because you know what to expect. Okay, so if you see that you, we enter the trade and it is now about two or three hours still in floating loss, then automatically something is wrong either with our analysis or there is uh, some fundamentals that we did not put into consideration during our market analysis. But 
based on the way that I have uh, refined this strategy or refined the market analysis, I make sure that I give signals when I'm almost 100% sure that this market is now about to spike. And then that is where I tell the students, enter. And they don't wait long, and then they will see blows. So I'm dealing with their trading psychology at the same time. So even that, even when I do not send the signals, by themselves, they know how we do it. So they enter into the market with confidence and with no anxiety, no worries. So meaning their psychology has been uh, uh, renewed, if I may put it like that. Okay. So as you can see, this was the account that I started from uh, four, $400. And then it's almost a half a million. All I was doing it right here uh, and encouraging students to make sure that they understand that trading is, when you treat it in a professional way, it becomes a profession or a business like any other business. Never mind the fact that uh, universities or other big uh, institutions of learning, they do not uh, teach it, but I guarantee you this is a business like any other business. You make money, you treat it as a business. Every trade that you open in the market, make sure you treat it as your first trade. Do not say or oh, become overconfident and say, I know how to do this. I know how to do this. No, we are dealing with a system. This system was made by imperfect people. It might look as it is, it is perfect, but it was designed by imperfect people. So make sure you learn how to dance along with it. Do not try to impose your own things because guaranteed it will stress you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. I apologize for the length of this video, but I hope from the things that I have said, they might help one or two people who are struggling with trading.